This is lesson nine, side length quotients in similar triangles. And this is activity one, two, three, four, and four, five, six. And the question is, if you have a triangle that has side lengths of two units, three units, and four units, and you have another triangle that has side lengths of four units, five units, and six units, um, is triangle A, in this case, this triangle similar to triangle B? <clears throat> And the answer to that question is no, they are not. In order to be similar, they have to, um, you have to be able to go from one triangle to the other triangle with a common scale factor. In other words, each side length has to be multiplied by the same number to get to the other side. Or you have to be able to translate the smaller figure over on top of the larger figure and then dilate them to make sure that they're all the same. Well, you can do neither of those in this case. So it might look like it in the beginning because two times three is six. And so this length right here, this length is twice the length that's three units. So two times three is six. And two times two is four. So this length is twice the length of this length. So maybe the scale factor is four. Two of the side lengths match that idea. But then you get to the last one, 2 times 4 is 8, and the last side is 5 units. So they are not similar triangles. I made copies of the triangles and moved them around a little bit to see if I could find a way to, to translate them and then dilate them. And I just can't. If I move this one over here and I align these vertices, I can't dilate that to make a match. I rotated it. I moved the vertice down here. I can't dilate that one. And I can't dilate that one. So I tried all three of these vertices in this to match this vertex right here. And I can't find any that will align and then I can dilate. Um, so triangle A is not similar to triangle B or triangle B is not similar to triangle A. Either way. All right. Activity one. Lesson 9.